Connecticut tries to implement a cashless society. That's right. Okay, um, if you got your uh, refund from the state government and your, uh, you know, your income tax, you notice that you didn't have the option to receive a paper check anymore. Instead, you have a digital card, uh, a debit card. All right, and the debit card is sponsored by guess who? J.P. Morgan and Chase. And if you ever seen, you know, Aaron Russo reflections and warnings, this is pretty interesting. You see, uh, I was reading through the paperwork I got with my debit card. And it says that I have to go to certain banks that receive contracts from the state, basically any J.P. Morgan Chase Bank or People's Bank, and they will uh, basically, with help by a teller, now offer me all right, a refund in cash, perhaps. I, 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 it looked into it, and there's some process or something you have to go through. You even have to activate your card. You have to use a landline or a cell phone, whatever it is. They can track, and um, you call them up, and they activate your card. And your card, all right, therefore can be used as an actual debit card to purchase products. But you have to go through some process of selecting debit or credit or something like that at like any retail store location. And um, it, like I said, it's just you're very limited. You can't get your money out just using an ATM because ATMs usually only have high denomination bills. And for a person like me who, you know, has some small, you know, small bills included in their tax return, all right, uh, it makes things a bit difficult. So now I have to go down to a bank, give them business, not to mention, I'm pretty sure the J.P. Morgan and Chase is probably holding this money. All right, you know, the Department of Revenue Services probably, you know, gives them the money and they probably just hold it in the J.P. Morgan account and say, oh, you know, look, you're getting interest, state a whole 1%. In the meantime, you know, they make about tenfold on it, J.P. Morgan and Chase, that is. And uh, you know, it's just, it, it's scary because now we per se have that hidden option where you might be able to convert the card back into cash, which is the only way I'll ever use it. All right. But what's going to happen in a few years from now? They say, "Oh, you know what? We don't want you don't want you to be able to convert it into cash. We want you just to use the digital money." I mean, think about that. Cashless society. I mean, it, it, I guess like it costs like two hundred thousand dollars or something like that a contract to get paper checks printed out, right? Okay. How come something that has a magnetic strip is made of plastic, which has a whole bunch of oil and polymers included in it, is cheaper than a recyclable piece of paper? Did anyone ever think about that? I mean, checks, they're pretty light. They're pretty thin, easy to make. A whole plastic card that has a whole thick book about laws and regulations on how to use the card is cheaper than the whole program? No, 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 no. Government, listen to me. I'm not a genius, but I can tell you right now, J.P. Morgan and Chase understands that sometimes to enter a product into the market, you have to charge the, the person buying it a very low rate, sell things at a loss, so you become, you know, basically inside of the market, something people want to buy. Oh, this is a pretty good deal. This is pretty interesting. Let me try it out. It doesn't cost that much. That's the agenda, all right? The idea is to eventually make everyone convert over to a digital card basis, and then you don't have to worry about using cash anymore. All right, now a cashless society comes with all the problems of being a cashless society. And a lot of you are screaming right now, conspiracy. All right, but in reality, all right, you know, there, there is a conspiracy to eliminate cash. I mean, a lot of people don't want cash. People want digital money systems that are easy to track and control. That's just common sense. All right. It's ridiculous because I read in one of the in the pamphlet there that JP Morgan has the right to close your account. You see, by activating your debit card, you have theoretically what they say is created an account with JP Morgan and Chase. Now you have an account with them. And since it is their account, they have the right to deactivate your card at any time necessary. So perhaps you know you have like three hundred dollars or some number right in your you know your tax return and you bought you know maybe like 50 bucks worth of stuff or something like that and then for some reason something happens jp morgan has a hiccup or whatever and then all of a sudden what you do oh you're out of a car now now all that money you had that 250 some odd dollars that was left is gone all right now i mean that was the money you worked for with your labor all right you worked hard to earn that money and now jp morgan has the right to it I mean, think about that. All right, you know, uh, I'm going to do some telephone calls. I think I'm going to record them and put the audio up here on YouTube. All right, between me and J.P. Morgan, because, you know, I'm seeing too much funny business going on with this card. All right, and you get into it. All right, um, where was I going with this? There's some important point I wanted to bring up. Something I'm forgetting right now, which is very unfortunate. But anyway, it'll probably come up when I'm calling up the company. But, I mean, just, oh, yeah, here, here's the thing I remember now. All right, do you know that if you uh, work in Connecticut and therefore have to pay Connecticut income tax, but live in another state, you will still have the right to receive a check. So I'm a taxpayer of the state of Connecticut, right? I pay my taxes, I live in Connecticut, I help the Connecticut infrastructure, and I can't 
you know, choose if I want a check or I want a debit card. No, you say, well, you could get direct deposit. Well, I really don't want direct deposit. I really don't like using a bank, all right? I like to stay far away from the banks as possible. Oh, I'm off the grid, right? Okay. But the whole thing is that, all right, if I, all right, you know, am paying my taxes more so than the person who's living out of state, how come the person out of state has the right to choose if he wants a check or not? You know, this goes into my conspiracy, Connecticut destroyed by design, where, you know, you got to attract all the wealthy people from out of state into the United, into, you know, the state of Connecticut. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, that's basically what I got to say about that. Um, I'm not too happy about it. I mean, I, 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 what was wrong with a check? Can someone explain to me what's wrong with a check? I, I, I still don't see what the problem is. You can write right on a check what exactly the money's for, who's it going to. Can't really do it with a debit card. Oh, you could stamp my name in it. That's cute. I could sign my name on the back. That's great. I could sign my name on the back of a check and, you know, endorse it to someone else, too. <laughs> you can't do that with a debit card. All right, you know, uh, it's just, it's silly. But anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Take care.